Good morning, Bexif Academy. It is Wednesday, the 1st of July, and welcome today just to our Year 10 and our Year 12 students. Currently, our Key Stage 3 students are engaged in the uh, Festival of Remarkable Lives, uh, and they've just had their celebration assembly and are going into their first activities. So today we're here just addressing you guys, and welcome to you if you're on site on the Academy or you're busy at home working through your lessons today. Hope you're having a great day so far. As you know, the theme for this week's assembly is discovering what's possible. And I'm going to hand over to Miss Shallow in a minute, who's going to talk about someone very, very special to her. Uh, but before we do, I'm going to talk about my sort of figure when it comes to discovering what's possible. And I'm going to talk about someone you may have heard of or may not have heard of. And his name is Alan Turing. And Alan Turing is a really remarkable person who not only discovered what's possible, I would argue he pushed the limits on what's possible as well. So two of our values for the price of one there. Now, Alan Turing was a mathematician or a statistician, and he was responsible for breaking the Enigma Code during World War II, which essentially brought an end uh, to World War II, saving millions and millions of lives. So not only was he a genius, a mathematical genius that managed to break that code and put an end to the horrendous war that was going on, he was also at the same time very, very private about his personal life. And that's because actually at the time he was breaking that Enigma code and working for the country and saving lives, he was actually uh, a homosexual who was kept, sort of kept that identity part of him away. Sadly for him, once he actually sort of finished his work with the government, he actually got persecuted. And the punishment he received when he went to, to court for being homosexual, because back then it was a crime, uh, was that he, he took uh, injections, essentially, that changed the hormones in his body. That sadly left for him then taking his own life. And he did that by injecting cyanide into an apple. And one of the theories where the apple logo comes from that you'll be very, very familiar with today is that that bite out of the apple represents the steps that Alan Turing took for technology, but also where we are now in terms of advances in technology where Apple have come from. So that symbol, according to one theory uh, from Apple, is actually a, a sort of uh, a hallmark for Alan Turing and the work he did, which is really, really incredible. So a very special figure. Uh, there is a film about his life called uh, The in in Intimidation Game. Great, great film, and I do recommend watching it. And Benedict Cumberbatch plays his role really, really well. Great film to learn about that part in history. So that's my Discover What's Possible. Great, great man. I'm going to hand over to Miss Shallow now, who's going to talk about someone equally special. She's then going to do the birthday shout-outs and our usual clothes. Miss Shallow, over to you. Thank you, Mr Sparks. Good morning, Bexley Heath. I will definitely be watching that film. I will be looking for it, looking out for it. Uh, what a sad, sad story, but at the same time, what a brave man he was. Right, so um, my discover what's possible. I started off researching this because I was thinking there's so many people to mention, and I thought, let me look for maybe somebody that we've never really heard of. Right, so quick question for you. Did you know that the first um, home security system was, um, invented by an African-American nurse. Well, I definitely didn't know that. I only found this out on Sunday night. Uh, so what does that leave us now? It means that my chosen person for today is the one and only, never heard of her until Sunday night, guys, the one and only, she was a nurse. I'm, I'm stalling it a little bit. She was a nurse. And like I said earlier on, she was an African-American. Any ideas? Right, so. Marie Van Brighton Brown, I salute you as my discover what's possible. Why is she possible? Why, why was she, um, why is she being mentioned? Sorry. Well, uh, she actually discovered the very first closed circuit television security system. And her patent led to groundworks for today's modern closed circuit television system that is world widely used for surveillances home security system, um, push button alarm triggers, crime prevention and traffic monitoring. So you can actually see from her little work that she started off, we're all benefiting from that today. So um, Marie Van Brighton Brown and all the other many um, um, inventors that we never really get to hear of who have, who have actually contributed to today's modern life to make our life a lot better, I salute you. Right, for so today's birthday shout out, Callum in year eight, happy 13th birthday, and Edward in year 12, happy 17th birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Have fun today. It's the 1st of July, so you're starting off your month, as always, every year, um, enjoying the month, enjoying the good weather as well. So eat lots of cake, have lots of Fanta and Coke, 
And just to close to this assembly, guys, I know that we've, you know, we can all go out and about now. Make sure you're keeping safe at all times when you're out and about. Make sure you wash your hands as frequently as possible, obviously using soap. And make sure you keep fit and healthy. And do remember, always keep those two metre distances. Right, have a fantastic day, guys. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.